Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. My name is Neil and uh, today's gonna be pretty cool, it's gonna be pretty chill. Uh, behind me I got a bunch of stuff from Team Canada. Uh, so I just came back from Tokyo. But yeah, this is gonna be a little showing of uh, the gear that we got. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you do, hit that subscribe button down below and leave a like on this video because it helps the YouTube algorithm and leave a comment because I always comment back to you. So yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna start with, uh, let's start with what's in the bag. So we'll start with the bag, which I already used on my way back from Tokyo. So this is the official Team Canada Olympic bag. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, see what's inside here. All right, so to start, we got a, oh, what's, is this inside out? Yeah, yeah, it's inside out. All right, so first thing we have here is a tank top, black, gold leaf on the, on the front, and then on the back, we got the Olympic logo and Hudson's Bay. Most Mostly everything is Hudson's Bay, because we are Canadian, so <clears throat> they are all Hudson's Bay branded for the most part. Uh, here we have, these are the, I believe, the closing ceremony pants. Uh, just some black uh, kind of sweatpants or joggers. So they got the Olympic logo there. Once again, big leaf on the little side pocket with a the zipper there. Uh, white stripe along the side and on the back of this leg. It says Canada. So pretty cool. And we got these altered when we were over there. So. But I think I got them altered a little bit too short, so they're kind of hovering <clears throat> on my ankle. Next, we got a pair of shorts. Uh, just standard like golf shorts, I guess. Uh, just the Olympic logo again. It's Hudson Bay. Yeah, black zip up button shorts. <clears throat> Next, we got some socks, which I've already worn, obviously and folded but this is what they look like ankle socks red ones with the leaf on it we got that and then we got the high ones uh, which are a pretty popular choice saw them being worn around the village a bunch pretty cool <clears throat> nice big Canada flag on those uh, okay now the good stuff really good stuff okay so this is uh, called our media jacket so anytime we had, I guess, interviews or press conferences, we were to wear this. This is also the jacket we wore when we traveled to and from Japan. Um, so really cool. I'm definitely going to cherish this thing a lot, uh, along with everything else. Uh, but yeah, so we have Canada on the front. And again, Olympic logo, Hudson's Bay. And on the back, just a big Canadian maple leaf. And on the arm, really cool. Tokyo 2020 Olympic rings. Uh, two zipper pockets. Really good. Really good quality. Really good. Uh, next, we got another zip up. Another red zip up. So, same deal. We got Maple Leaf, Olympic logo, Hudson's Bay. Um, back it says Canada. This was kind of, I think, just more of a casual jacket. We could wear this around the village and whatnot. Uh, like, I, they give us kind of like a little outfit guide, what, what we could wear in the village. It kind of reminds me of like a tech fleece type of thing. <clears throat> it's just got like the tech fleece pockets, some zippers, really cool, good material. I'm gonna be rocking this a lot too. Uh, next jacket. This is the closing ceremonies jacket. Uh, Oh, sorry, no, this is the podium jacket. My mistake, this is a podium jacket. Obviously, I did not get a chance to wear it because I was not on the podium, not even close. But I have it, so I can wear it after the Olympics as much as I want, so. Probably see me rocking this around. Uh, again, Olympic, Canadian Olympic logo, Hudson's Bay, leaf, another leaf on the arm. Uh, the Tokyo 2020 Olympic logo on the back, embroidered. Canada, once again, zipper pockets. Uh, it looks like it's a button up, like bomber, but it's also got the zipper right here. So 
really nice jacket. All these jackets I'm gonna be wearing. All right, uh, next we got plain black polo. Um, yeah, nothing much to it. It's a pl black polo shirt. Leaf, it's a COC logo, Hudson's Bay, and that's it. <laughs> Not sure when I'm gonna wear that because I don't wear polo shirts. Uh, long sleeve, cotton long sleeve, like that. Nothing on the back. Gold leaf on the front. Uh, COC logo on the side. Hudson's Bay and Canada on the arm. Another like village thing to wear. Here we got a nice uh, dry fit black tee, black and gold. Logos on the arm, on the arms. Nothing on the back. All right, pretty standard. Uh, red t-shirt, same deal. Big leaf, logos, logo, nothing on the back. Here, same deal again, another leaf, logos, logo, nothing on the back. All right, that's done. And the last t-shirt is a cotton, white cotton one. We wore this on the way to Tokyo. You've probably seen this on maybe like the Olympic players or athletes profile. We wore this for our headshots. So yeah, that's that. That's what's in this backpack. And uh, let's move on to some other stuff. Okay, so uh, more stuff from the luggage. Oh, I forgot about this jacket right here. This is another one of the jackets, it's like a rain jacket. Uh, also really cool. It's pretty thin, but it was quite warm over there, so you, know, you don't really need a thick one, but same deal, logos, logos. Canada on the arm, leaf on the back. Uh, it's got detachable hood. The hood's in the pocket right now. Uh, I prefer it without the hood. But uh, yeah, I like this one a lot. Probably wear this more than the rest. Here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The infamous closing ceremonies Canadian tuxedo jacket. The denim jacket. There it is. In the flesh. Just graffitied up the arse. I don't know if that is was an O. O Canada? Yeah, maybe. I don't even know what this says here. Can't read that. Olympic logo, Maple Leaf, Canada on the back on the top. Uh, graffiti Tokyo and other Canadian stuff in the back. Other arm has some Japanese that I can't read because I'm a phony. Canada on the arm. It's a Levi's jacket and we got to pick our size so you know really nice to have custom fitting stuff. So it fits. Oh and the collar it says Team Equipe. And next we got uh, okay let's go with these a pair of shorts like basketball shorts. Pretty cool. So we got white. We also got black. Ta-da! Yes reversible shorts but downfall no pockets, so not sure when I want to wear these, but I mean, still pretty cool. It's got the Hudson's Bay here and this here, and on the inside, there's just a black maple leaf. Opening ceremonies pants, white Levi's denim with a leaf on it. Yeah, we wore these at opening ceremonies. Uh, crazy experience. You'll see that in the vlogs uh, when they come out, which I'm working on. Uh, but I'm gonna try and get this video out first so you guys can see uh, our outfits first. Uh, next, we got a fanny pack. It's quite small actually. It barely fits like my phone and like a charger, but uh, nonetheless, still pretty cool. Canadian fanny pack. It's got the logo, logo, yeah, adjustable strap, buckle, and shit. All right, let's go with the hat. All right, let me know in the comments which hat you guys think is the best. All right, so I'm gonna run through them one by one. Here we go, bucket hat. Mm. 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 Okay, 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 you already know, summertime vibe. We're going to the beach, we're going out west. You know, I'm rocking this, okay. Bucket hat, uh, we got the red, red cap, the Olympic logo. Yes, sir, good fit. Good fit for me. 
with my head. And the last one is the black one. I like this one. To be honest, it's pretty sick. It's like, it's like a flim flimsy type, but it like it's it's a solid, you know. Yeah. So yeah, let me know which hat you think is the best. Uh, okay. Next, what else is in the luggage? Uh, this guy. This guy is pretty cool. Let's move on. A lot of things. So we got. Yeah, this in the luggage, and it's actually a Sobeys um, Feed the Dream athlete grocery card, I believe. I believe it gets like filled up every month, but it's pretty sick. Sobeys, Foodland, Safeway, Thrifty Foods. Yeah, athlete grocery card. Let me see that. Oh, there it is. My name on it. That's me. Oh, oh, oh. Can't see it. It's like right there. All right? That's pretty cool. Um, these are sick. I like these a lot, actually. Oh. Alexa, Echo. Off. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Face mask. Medium Olympic face mask. Pretty cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's the paper spans. Bust these out once in a while. While I'm training when it's hot. Um, bottles. So we got this. Powerade was one of the sponsors of the Olympics and they gave this to every athlete. It's pretty sick. This one's definitely my favorite. Y'all already know about the Nike Toronto bottle. Sick bottle, but. Yo, this is heavy duty. Massive bottle. Got the spout. Definitely staying hydrated with this bad boy. So I'm retiring the Toronto bottle and this is going to be the new baby for the next while. Hopefully I can keep it in good condition. And then with the luggage they gave us this bag which is really cool from Athlete365 and inside this is probably where most people would want to see. Um, Samsung is also a sponsor. So they give us a SIM card, which I didn't use because I already had one over there. Uh, your pocket guide. Uh, this is pretty sick. Yeah. I think it's like $500 credit to Airbnb. So that's pretty sick. Uh, that's about it in there. And then the good stuff. Now I'm no, I'm no Android guy, but I think this is pretty cool. Here we got the Galaxy Buds Pro, and they come in this like shiny purple, which is really nice. I haven't even opened this yet. Most of, I've seen most of my teammates already open it and use these. Uh, I didn't open these yet, so I'm not sure if I will. And they came with a, I guess not limited edition, but like only Olympic edition uh, case. Oh, that's pretty cool. I think only athletes will have that. And then, of course, these buds, they come with an S21 Ultra. No, S21 5G. It's an Olympic edition phone. Wild. Absolutely wild. And here it is. Sheesh. And then, you want to see the good stuff? Let me show you the good stuff. Okay, first, I'll show you the box. Right there again, more Olympic branding. Uh, there's a cable in there. A little SIM eject tool. Okay, it's got this nice like blue blue backing. Right, ready? Yo. That is sick. That's what I'm talking about. I might actually use this to be honest. 
just because it's, it's pretty cool. And now I'm gonna go through our Encore uniform. A lot of my stuff is in the wash right now. So, some of them I don't have, but I got the main stuff for you. This was our jacket, our Olympic Yonix jacket. Pretty cool. Nothing on the back. But yeah, it's pretty sick. Lastly, our jerseys that we wore on court. You probably saw from pictures already, and if you already watched the matches live or rewatched it, I appreciate you so much. Here it is. This is the jersey. Olympic Canadian Yonix Olympic jersey. There it is. And there's this color, the white one. Also really cool, really clean. Logos again, just like that. My name on the back. So we got six shirts, we got three of each color. And same thing for the shorts. Oh, there were white pants with the uh, with the jacket. But I don't think you need to see a pair of white pants. Lastly, very last, sorry. They gave us this bag. But uh, we're one of the only countries that didn't get our country on it. Kind of sour. But uh, nonetheless, this is a dope bag, and I'm very grateful for it. So again, thank you, Yonex, for, for always hooking us up and making sure we're good at these tournaments. Um, you know, the Yonex team's always been very supportive, and they help me out a lot when I get to these tournaments. When I need stuff, uh, this tournament they hook me up with headbands and socks, uh, some essentials. Headbands just because my hair was getting a little long. I can't believe I forgot about these. They gave us two pairs of shoes and a pair of slides. So here are the first pair. Under Armour Hover, Hover Sonics. These ones are, no idea. These black ones, we wore these for opening ceremonies. Uh, they're, a little, they're a little hard to get on because like, the tongue is like attached to the shoe kind of deal. So you gotta like force it in there. But they look good, they look cool. And then lastly, some Under Armour slides. Some, uh, some of that memory foam stuff. The foot kept sliding off, so I didn't wear it that much. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Smash the like button, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in the Tokyo vlogs. And I hope you enjoy, so stay safe, stay healthy, and I'm out. Peace.